Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Camping Corner. Today it's Camping Aisle Way. That's right, we're, we're not, not in a our, corner. We're not in our corner or our nook. But nobody puts us in a corner, yeah, Tony. Nobody puts Tony and Mau Mau <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> so Except you, my mom. So you guys have been loving us sharing different campers with you. So today we're gonna show you some of people's favorite campers with us, our top ones. Yeah. Hey, you guys want to know how cool this show is? Mallory's carrying our entire script right yeah. there. That's our script. <laughs> it's like a little post-it note. <laughs> what are we looking at? Let's do the Hideout 272 first. <laughs> yeah, let's do the 272. <laughs> so, we all know everybody wants to camp and relax. You want to kick back. You don't want to be working hard. So, so a couple of the cool things that I really like about this unit on the outside Power tongue jack, power stabilizer jacks, power awning. So realistically, you could show up at the campground with that finger. <laughs> and set up. And set up. <laughs> Keep it easy, right? Yeah. Enjoy your camping time yeah. rather than all the setup. This is a cute floor plan, but as a mom, because you can sleep quite a bit of people mm -hmm. in this camper, my favorite thing is the ginormous pantry. It's amazing to me how many manufacturers in the industry build units that you can sleep a troop or a tribe or a gaggle or what? what's some other names? A murder. A, a murder, <laughs> yep. Um, but you know. A flock. A flock, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys are goobers. Um, you're not throwing in any. I know, because you guys are stealing them. I know, but, sorry. Anyway. But there's no place to put the food to feed them. Exactly. You know. Exactly. So that big food pantry is super awesome. Yep. So you also have the fireplace up here. It's a 32 inch electric fireplace and it provides uh, 51 or 5,000 BTUs of electric heat source. Mm -hmm. So now you're not burning propane right. to yeah. heat the coach. And they do, they pump out a good amount of heat. They do. I'll be honest, when we got our camper and it had a little fireplace in it, I thought, oh, that's ridiculous we're never going to use it we use that thing quite a bit i bet so it's actually a lot more useful than people think it is yeah so another cool thing about this unit sliding pocket doors if you can get it if i can get the pop loose pocket doors again ton of manufacturers go yeah what are we going to do let's get mom and dad a curtain right you know that's privacy yeah that's privacy <laughs> so now you've actually got a got a door yep all right you ready for the next one? Sure. Where are we going? My cheat sheet says we are going to the Montana 295. Ooh, 295. All right. So we just got done with more of a family travel trailer, right? Yep. So let's show the 295, a couple's coach fifth wheel. Absolutely awesome. Yep. 34 feet long. Yes. So not, you know, some people get so worried about, they, they want a true four season coach mm -hmm. with automatic leveling jacks, with heated and enclosed underbelly, it's a full profile unit. They want all that stuff, but then they go, I don't want to pull something that's 47 feet long. Exactly. You know, so 34 feet long, automatic leveling jacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing, and what is it? Let's see, what's the weight? Sorry, I don't know off the top of my head, guys. So you're only at 11,290 pounds on this thing. Yeah. So very lightweight. Yep. So that actually covers a lot of three quarter ton trucks three quarter ton trucks even three quarter ton gas trucks yes not necessarily a diesel you know no reason to have that well i'm buying me a freightliner toter today <laughs> yeah so it gives you the beauty of a montana everything about a montana and a lighter fifth wheel yep lighter shorter more compact easily towable but you've got pull down shades you've got you know the ceiling fan you've got solid surface countertops you got led lights for days um, even around the stove residential refrigerator and mallory's favorite thing big pantry oh yeah who doesn't love a big pantry man oh man like oreos chips cereal 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 <laughs> but those you know 
Sarah loves it too, so do I, because we vacation in our camper. Mm -hmm. So when you go to the grocery store, you need some place to put your groceries. Right. Like, you don't want them just all sitting out because then you just eat them all at once. Yeah. All the cereal. Yeah, all cereal. All cereal. All cereal. All cereal. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, beautiful, light fifth wheel, shorter, more compact, like yep. you said. Just gets you in Montana and you don't have to have this huge truck to pull it. Yep. So, all right. Where do we want to go next? Home. Oh, that'd, be, that'd be nice. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Beer, beer 30? We could do the Puma 32 RBFQ. Okay, that's cool. That's towards the back. Here it is. The Puma 32 RBFQ. Another good family travel trailer. But what's the best thing about this one, in my opinion, we're standing by it. <laughs> Did you guys practice that? That was in unison. You betcha. No. So, a couple cool things about, um, in my opinion, one of the coolest outdoor kitchens that's available. Mm -hmm. Refrigerator, microwave, hot and cold running water, and the sizzle them up bacon on the grill. You got the griddle, so you can fix your pancakes, your bacon, your sausage, your eggs all that stuff all at the same time all built in on a pull-out tray yes lots of extra countertop space so the cool thing is this is an outdoor kitchen that really gives you the capability you can do everything out here full outdoor you kitchen. know yeah yeah and i love the griddles the griddles are just nice yeah it, it's like next to the camper itself mm -hmm. it's you know having these flat top griddles I, i'm a huge you know i love my blackstone um that that's like the greatest invention ever right next to the camper exactly you know the other cool thing that i like about this one we have to go into the bedroom area travel trailer with a bed slide so your bedroom feels huge well one of the cool things is just to give you an idea how many how many travel trailers out there that are half ton towable, mm -hmm. do you think there are that we could get two hosts from a, the single most popular <laughs> camping show on the international internet and a full camera crew, <laughs> lighting crew, sound crew, <laughs> all that stuff in one bedroom? You know, all three of us. You, you betcha. Senior producer, junior producer. Right. Executive producer. You know, key, key grip. grip. <laughs> And it's washer dryer prep. Yep. There is a place to put a wash, uh, washer and dryer in there. But Mallory, step in there and show them how big that closet is. Mallory, just so y'all know, she's six foot seven <laughs> or like five foot two. But she fits inside there. Somebody came in the other day that watches our videos and they're like, hey, I see you in all the videos and you can never reach anything. So I figured you must have been short in real life. That is true. That is true. This so. is exactly like the bedroom that sarah and i had in our 32 rkts yeah. yep. yeah super super roomy storage under the bed yep or you could put your spouse under there if she's on your nerves or he's on your nerves yeah you know yeah. but yeah i mean you this slept is up there a lot i yeah. did i did <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so this cool this the and and that's a good point that dan's bringing up is this bedroom so this is a bunkhouse travel trailer but this bedroom is available in multiple different floor plans even if you're looking for somebody's looking for a couple's coach yes. where they're going hey we're not taking anybody with us it's just you know we paid our dues the kids are grown the grandkids live you know mm -hmm. away or they don't have grandkids yet we're going to go out and spend some time together and do all the things that we want to do the bucket list exactly exactly so we probably since this one is a family coach we probably should show a little bit of the bucket yeah list. probably <laughs> So the huge U-shaped dinette, great bunk room back here. So bunk up overhead, bunk up overhead, and then a jackknife sofa mm -hmm. that uh, flips down to make a bed. And, you know, as we've talked about on, on many videos before, in a perfect world, it never rains. The sun, It's always sunny in 79 at the campground right. and everything like that. But the reality is it does get dark. The mosquitoes come out. It gets hot. It gets humid. It rains. It storms. So on like that. So if the kids are back here because you've got inclement weather, there's flip down cup holders and a place for a television right here. Yep. So once the kids finally go, I want to take my video game, <laughs> then they can sit back here and kill everybody. That's right. Are we doing another one? Yep, one more. Sure, one where more? are we going? 
Woo, where should we go? Let's do, we'll go back towards the front and in there so we can do the another fifth wheel, the 316 RLS. Okay. We are in the Cougar 316 RLS. Well, if you guys get to sit down, I get to sit down. It's cozy and nice. I absolutely, I, I just can't get over the new cabinetry, the new yes. interior on the Cougar. Yes. You know, the 316 RLS, absolutely phenomenal floor plan. Great couples coach. You know, Dan, make sure that you show them the amount of food prep area on each side of the stove over here. Okay, let me spin around here. I don't want to go too fast and make anybody sick. <laughs> so... You've got great food prep area. You've got these cool pop-up electrical outlets on both sides. So, you know, air fryer on one side, the Instapot on the other side, the stove cover right here, uh, three-burner stove, oven, big, huge microwave, big island, you know, single lever faucet with a sprayer, free standing table and chairs, recliners, trifold sofa. I mean, just, and, and it's so bright. I mean, we're inside the showroom. Mm -hmm. Now, every light in the camper is on right now. But, you know, it's just super bright. It's super open. It's super airy. Yeah. You know. Gorgeous, gorgeous camper. Like yeah. you said, Cougar with all their white interior definitely brightened it up, made it quite a beautiful coach. Yep. So, so you know, just come check it out. Yeah. Awesome unit. You know, this is, we just picked four of our our best-selling floor plans that happen to be in the showroom because it's cold outside. It's cold out. I'm not doing it. You know, <laughs> but come check out, you know, these or anything else um, and just come hang out with us, guys. Yeah. All right. Is that it? That wraps it up, Tony. That's it. All right, you guys. Until next week, we will see you later. See ya.